we're very aware through our work uh, about debt. I mean, we we see it as a it's like an insidious cancer in our society, which uh, causes all sorts of problems for people, particularly the age bracket from 20 to 30, or two children, and are on low income, who get into debt. It can cause uh, domestic problems, uh, domestic violence. It it can cause um, uh, it can lead to criminality because people are stuck with lots of lots of problems and they look for ways out of it. Um, it can also, in very extreme cases, lead to suicide, as you're probably well aware. Cases have been um, ca carried in the press, etc. Well, I think one of the pro problems is that um, people are under pressure by it. They're bombarded with adverts and offers all the time from all the big retail firms and insurance firms, etc., to, to, to borrow money. Uh, and despite the fact that they might not have to pay it back, uh, the, the, the getting um, credit is, is fairly easy. Uh, because there's been a, an upsurge in home ownership, um, it now falls to that, they, that firms can repossess your house if you're in debt, so they're more willing to lend people who've got properties. But people are not aware that they could put themselves in a position where they lose their home and as we know over the years, you know, thousands of people have lost their homes through, through debt uh, and uh, had them repossessioned and then they become homeless and they, 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 their domestic life becomes you know, intolerable in that, in that sense. I don't think so. I mean, I can't, I, I, when I read that question, I was thinking, what has the government done? And I couldn't think of anything they had done in particular. I mean, they could, they could, if they wanted to, put limits on, on borrowing if they, if they so desired. They thought it was, you know, a problem as I do. Um, they could discourage the the adverts for for loaning money, and they could make, you know, the, the restrictions for borrowing money a lot tighter. I remember years ago, because I'm, I'm, you know, getting on a bit, uh, when the higher purchase came in first of all in the 50s and 60s. There was a, a very much a rigmarole before you could borrow money. You know, you didn't, it wasn't easy, and the amount that you could borrow was was fairly limited. So there are things that the government could do, but I can't see, to be quite honest, they're doing anything. They're, more or less, they're in, actually encouraging debt. They could they could do a lot more in making people aware of, you know, what would happen if they get into financial, what what they could lose, you know, and what it would mean to them as a family, etc. You know, the pressures that are, that would be on, on them. And I think yes, they ought to st start off uh, in school. In actual fact, they brought uh, finance education into schools. But I don't think it deals with the, you know, the, the um, negative side of it. It deals with more what you, how you can make money more than you know, how you can lose it. So I think that they, they would be handy to uh, educate, particularly you know, teenagers, etc., who are just going into the market, into the, into the world and going to work, to, to how to, you know, to, how to uh, look after their, their finances. As you would realise, as being a socialist, I think it's tied up with the fact that capitalism needs to forever increase its production, increase its profits. And if they loan a lot of money to people, they, they lose a few of them, but in the, in, the, in the balance, they make money on it, you know, and so the pressure is there to get people to borrow money rather than, than to uh, look after their finances sensibly. Well, I was looking at the figures for America, and Americans are $44 trillion in debt uh, at the moment. And um, I couldn't find the figures for Britain, so I think it's around, uh, it might be approaching a trillion, one trillion here. And I think we are a country that seems to follow the trends that Ameri happen in America, and, and uh, therefore I, I, can, I can't see it getting better, I only can see it getting worse, unfortunately. The Alliance for Green Socialism is a, is a national organisation which, which is not a big organisation but is a socialist and I think lots of our problems that we face 
uh, need a so socialist solution. Um, for instance, you know, we, we are opposed, for instance, the private uh, finance initiatives in, in the health service because we think that just all that does is to take money out of the health service because people are not going to invest in the health service unless they, unless they make a profit. So we're very much opposed to, you know, we're opposed to things like of that nature. Um, and we think most of our problems are due to the, you know, the development of capitalism and, and how, it, how it's uh, now become global. And all sorts of things are a problem. For instance, uh, 40 years ago, if you had a job uh, and you got a mortgage, you were very secure uh, in, in paying your mortgage off and owning your house eventually when you retired and had you know but now jobs are so fluid and companies are so taking jobs and and taking them to where they can get the cheapest labor you know like Czech Republic or South Korea possibly that no one's got the security they had previously so that all helps to you know cause problems uh, mental problems it causes domestic problems uh, and debt problems.